Hey, what's up? This is Hyun Suk Yoon, and welcome back to the SEIR model tutorial with Numerous Model Builder. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up a network model using the Numerous Model Builder mapping tool. Um, the mapping tool allows us to set the connectivity between the meta populations by visually setting up each of the meta populations' location in the map of your choice. So this will allow you to easily set up the connectivity matrix using the geographical information you have. All right, so let's look at the numerous now. And here we have the continuous meta population SEIR model, as we saw in the tutorial seven. Um, if we go to the net node network and see the connector part, you can see the connectivity matrix. So each i row of the matrix X shows the connectivity of meta population I to the other meta other meta population. So for example, on the first row, we see that the population 0 is connected to population 1. And pop, zero, pop 1 is zero, connected to pop 0 and 2. Um, 2 is connected to 1 and 3. And 3 is connected to 2 and 4, and so on. So if you try to visualize this, the whole population is lined up in a linear fashion where each meta population is only connected to its neighbors. And now we're going to change this up a little bit by using the mapping tool. So we're going to click on the incline display and click initialize this map. And in the grid, you're going to call on the map that you have the population information on and click on the locations where meta population is located at. So we're going to put this map and the meta populations are going to be, oh, before we do that, we're going to click off the connected button for now and click on the meta population locations arbitrarily for now and we're gonna manually um, yeah we're gonna manually set up the connections by right clicking on the dots to the other dot so right click and drag I'm gonna make a nice little two triangles and once you're done, numerous creates. Um, once you're done, the numerous creates the connectivity matrix based on which dots are connected and how far each of the connections are. So the correlation, be so the correlations between the connectivity and the distance is expressed by the strength equation set up on the lower left corner, right here. And so. The default is set up so the connectivity is a negative exponential of the distance, but of course you can set it up as however you like. And we're going to view the matrix here. So you can see that the distance is um, represented in the connectivity matrix now. So if you, um, so also there's an option if you if you know that all of the all of the meta populations are connected to each connected to each other. Um, you can click connected and it automatically assumes that all nodes are connected and it makes the, it makes the connectivity matrix according to that but we're not going to do that right now and yeah so once that's done let's exit out of the map and now you can see that the connectivity matrix has changed and the count of meta populations also changed according to the number of dots we made in the mapping tool so if you see here the link, so population zero is connected to three and four, one is connected to two and four, um, yeah, so on. All right, so that's pretty much it. To recap, we learned how to implement the mapping tool to set up the connectivity matrix in the meta population model using a spatial image we have. And which was pretty simple. So in the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the least square fitting tools to find the parameter beta in the SEIV discrete model that best fits the collected incidence data we have. So tune into the next tutorial. This is going to be our last one. So focus and till next time.